On to exercise three. Here, our task is to write a Python function that will take a vector as input, and the output is going to be a unit vector in the same direction. So we have to uh, compute the norm of the vector and then scale the vector by its norm such that the resulting vector points in the same direction but has unit norm. So that's called a unit vector. And then what happens when you input the zeros vector? So I will uh, discuss that um, when we get to it in the code. Here is my function, pretty straightforward. I discussed this in the book chapter, of course. So we input a vector v, and we get the norm of that vector. I call this mu. And then what we return is simply v divided by mu. Now this already gives you a hint to what's going to happen when we input a, a zeros vector, because the norm of the zeros vector is zero. Uh, it has no numbers other than zero, and it has no length geometrically. Uh, and so there's nothing wrong with that. A zeros vector has a perfectly valid norm, and zero is a is a valid norm of a vector. But of course, you know, if you try to divide by zero, you're going to run into some problems. Okay, so let's see. We are going to now test this. I'm just going to comment out this code. Let's start by testing it on a vector that is already a unit vector. So it's a three element vector. The elements are zero, one, zero. So the norm is already one. So, uh, in fact, the result of this, the output, should be the same as the input. This is just a, a bit of sanity checking. Okay, so that is uh, that looks good. Now I'll uncomment this code here. Here I'm going to input a vector. It's actually in the same direction as this vector, uh, but it is, uh, it's longer. So it has a norm of 3. Uh, so what we expect here is a vector that points in the same direction, but as unit norm, obviously it's exactly this vector. Uh, so what it should do is just scale these values down so that the result is a one in the middle. And that is what we get here. Okay, and then I think I'll comment these lines just so we avoid some confusion. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, now I'm going to input just some other vector. Obviously this has a non-unit uh, norm. This, whatever the norm is, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out. But uh, it's obviously not one. So uh, what I'm doing here is um, printing out the norms of these two vectors. So the norm of this vector, and then the norm of the output of my function, create unit vector. And of course, this should be one, regardless of what this is. OK, so let's try that. And you see, here's what that vector looks like. And here you can see the norm is 15.6 for the original vector. And this is pretty interesting. The norm of the uh, unit norm vector is not one. Now, in theory, this should be one. It is 0 0.9999999. This is just some computer rounding error. If you expect a number to be one, but you see that it's 0 0.9 and then like a bajillion nines, then that it, you can just assume that that's uh, consistent with the theoretical prediction. Just some rounding error basically coming from uh, from from this, from the the squaring and the square rooting, it's just some tiny numbers get clipped, and this is what we end up with. Okay, so this is good. I'm going to consider this to be uh, successful. Let's see. So now, what happens when we input the zeros vector? Well, it's going to be something bad, right? The universe is going to explode, or something. We can't divide by zero. So in fact, uh, we get nans, not a number, and we get uh, a warning. Uh, or an error message from uh, Python saying that there's an invalid value encountered in in division. Basically, we're trying to divide by zero, and that is not possible. So we just get NANs.